From atop this building, which houses the Southwest Environmental Center of Southern New Mexico, you get some great views of the newly renovated section of downtown Las Cruces. But as charming as it is down below, it's what's on the roof that's getting people's attention. It's an array of solar panels that are paving the way to a different kind of energy future for this region. This is a historic occasion. We are here to dedicate the first photovoltaic system in commercial use to come online in the city of Las Cruces. Down below, those panels up above and out of sight are being celebrated. It is our hope that this is the beginning of a new era of clean, renewable energy for southern New Mexico. But I hope also that in 10 years' time, today will be a footnote in history. I hope that rooftop solar systems will be so commonplace in Las Cruces and throughout New Mexico that nobody will remember who had the first one win. Go ahead. And with the cutting of a chain, a symbol of our dependence as a nation on fossil fuels, this first-of-a-kind solar power generating system was officially dedicated. I want to commend the Southwest Environmental Center in New Mexico State for participating and actually being partners in this project and for answering the call to expand the state's renewable energy. Uh, the path to clean energy is a collective effort. The federal government is not leading, so it's up to institutions and cities and environmental groups and citizens to take those first steps. Local governments, states, business communities, and in New Mexico, one of the best partnerships we have is that we're all working together to make us the clean energy state. It has indeed been a pioneering partnership involving three entities. The Southwest Environmental Center is a nonprofit organization that works to protect and restore native wildlife and their habitat in this region. In this project, it has teamed up with New Mexico State University's Institute for Energy and the Environment and the El Paso Electric Company, using funds allocated from the 2006 New Mexico Legislature. You have to be willing to make your way up a somewhat unsteady looking ladder to see what they did. This is what they put together on the rooftop of this building. The first photovoltaic system used commercially in the city of Las Cruces. It generates renewable, clean electricity from the sun without contributing to global warming. This is, this is the, what, what we call a silicon uh, uh, type of, uh, silicon crystal type of uh, solar modules. Luis Estrada is an IEE project engineer who along with other staff members and five student interns helped install this unique unit, which relies on a series of solar panels that are connected. Each of these modules produces 180 watts. We actually combine them in series, uh, 11, 11 solar modules in series, and combine three sub-arrays into a total system size of 6 kilowatt. We're feeding that uh, that six kilowatts down into an inverter that will convert. Of course, these solar modules will only produce you DC energy, so we have to convert that DC into alternating current. And we have an inverter, a six kilowatt inverter, that is interconnected, tied in into the utility grid, or let's say the El Paso Electric uh, point of interconnection. We've all seen solar panels before, and while they look much the same as they did years ago, they're a lot more efficient now. This system generates 950 kilowatt hours a month, enough energy to power two homes for a year. At this point, uh, these guys will produce about 17 to 18 uh, percent of energy conversion. Back in 1980, they were, their efficiency was about 5 to 8 percent, so it's, it's come a long ways. It took Estrada and his team from NMSU about 18 months to install the panels. It took quite a while. This is the first commercial photovoltaic system in the city limits of Las Cruces. And uh, permitting was, well, it was new ground for the city. So there were a lot of issues that had to be resolved. And so, it, you know, I think the next system to come along is going to, uh, it won't take nearly as long to get permitted online. If you're wondering what it all cost, well, the equipment priced out at about $50,000.
NMSU did the installation work valued at another $20,000. And it's a minor investment of $110,000 that they're going to reduce their energy by almost close to 50 percent. That's a pretty good investment. But the system doesn't just reduce energy costs. The real beauty of it is that it also pays you back. We have a purchase agreement here with the Environmental Center actually does to the, the green credit that we produce, so the surplus of energy that we produce, they have to pay us 12 cents a kilowatt hour that we produce on there. You heard that right. Instead of buying power from the electric utility, the Southwest Environmental Center, with this system in place, will not only generate power for its daily operations, it's also entered into a 25-year agreement with the El Paso Electric Company to do what's called net metering. The photovoltaic roof system is tied directly into El Paso Electric's distribution system. No batteries are needed. Any excess power generated by these panels will be sold to the utility. The electric meter actually spins backwards when that happens. It's an extra source of income for the environmental center and an extra source of power for the utility, which has a special incentive to buy back power from consumers. Not only will El Paso Electric pass along this clean energy to its customers, but the agreement will enable the utility to work towards meeting our state's increased renewable portfolio standards. And this is what we've done, the legislature, your legislatures, and our administration. We said that 15% of all our power from utilities by 2015 should be renewable. But we went gone one step further and said 20% by the year 2020. Increasingly, utilities are facing new requirements from state governments to make sure a higher percentage of the power they produce is from renewable sources. The idea is to get us off fossil fuels and hopefully keep ever-rising energy costs in check. In fact, one of the main reasons the Southwest Environmental Center installed these panels is to encourage other residents and businesses in the region to follow their lead. This is um, what we do. This is part of our mission to demonstrate um, the, the benefits and the viability of alternative energy. One of the things we do, we're very much involved with trying to protect special places like Otero Mesa from oil and gas development. And uh, on-site renewable energy systems like this can help um, eliminate the need to drill in places like Otero Mesa. Southwest Environmental Center is going to be the leader. We're going to be looking up to them as a commercial business to, to basically set the foundation for all other businesses to follow. For those of you who are thinking about maybe installing a system at your house or, or a business, or school, or wherever, I, I encourage you to do so. With current federal and, and state tax benefits, with the ability to net meter and the ability to sell, potential to sell renewable energy credits to utilities, the cost of solar is now affordable and competitive. And the financial picture, picture will only get better as energy, uh, the price of non-renewable energy climbs. The governor says the state is serious about making alternative energy systems like this one more affordable for residents. We have worked extensively at the state level to utilize our abundant solar resources by making the use of clean energy more attractive. Solar, wind, biofuels, the entire scope in research and tax incentives and subsidies. We're a state that is ready to put our state bucks in entrepreneurial ventures that promote clean energy. We've broken down the cost barrier by establishing tax credits for residents and businesses to choose to install solar systems. One of the big challenges for the future has been to make solar more affordable so that neighborhoods and communities can participate, so that it isn't just the federal government and research institutions, but ordinary citizens that uh, in their own homes and their own businesses move forward. City officials attending this event say they've gotten the message as well. Earlier we met with uh, members of NMSU engineers and we were talking about the upcoming city hall and how we could make that building energy, uh, energy ready, solar energy ready when we open the doors. We may not be able to put solar panels on from day one, but as may be in subsequent phases, we can build into uh, uh, build into the, the new city hall and make it, have an ener make it energy free as possible. 
The big message here? It has never been more affordable or practical to think about using solar power than it is right now. I really feel that it's time that we need to stop poking into the past and we also need to stop peeking into the future, you know, but we need to start being the future. And it is going to be through our commitments of incorporating these kind of projects now. This is a, a true example of uh, collaboration and how uh, we can't go at it by ourselves, but by forming partnerships with different institutions, things that before we thought weren't possible are now a reality. I would maybe put the question to everybody here today. What are you doing to help combat global climate change, global warming, and to push ourselves towards a sustainable future?